Well, first, what I'm looking forward to most is everyone being back on campus. So last year, um, as a result of the pandemic, we pivoted to remote teaching and then remote work, and we did the right thing. That was important. We learned how to interact effectively through Zoom. So that was all good. We did the right thing. Um, but I've missed everybody. And so this morning I came in, I couldn't find a spot in the parking lot, the lobby. There was a whole bunch of folks in the lobby and students are back in the classroom. It's just um, really exciting to actually see people's full bodies again um, and have a chance to have that level of energy back on campus. Now, as interim dean, I'm also excited about pulling us out of what was a difficult year last year. We continue to focus on important things in this college, our academic programs, our research, and the initiatives we have that are community embedded. So everyone's gonna to continue to see us focused on how can we be a solution around homelessness? People are gonna to continue to see us focused on our work in Maryville. Uh, many people know that I'm particularly passionate about advancing outcomes for our ASU students who have a background with foster care. And by the way, I could list 25 other really meaningful, important things that we're gonna to continue to do. And we're going to do that this year coming out of um, what was a very difficult year last year. So I'm hoping in my role as interim dean, I'm, allowed, I'm, I'm able to add a sense of stability to our community as we do not slow down at all in terms of all the important things we have to advance, that we're coming back with a sense of security, that people have the support that they need, and that we also ensure we have the infrastructure to be able to do the important work that we have in front of us. So those are the things that are on my mind for this year. My time at Watts College has been incredible and I can attribute that particularly to the people. So whether we're talking about our faculty, our staff, or our students, not only do they inspire me every day, I've learned a lot here. So um, I'm challenged um, in the ways that I think. I think that I think bigger. I think even some of the assumptions that I come at uh, public service with have been um, stretched and challenged because of the people with whom I interact. We've just got very smart, talented people here. Um, and so there's no question that um, it has been for the better my time here. So my college age self, I would tell myself to be more bold, to speak up more, to focus my thoughts on what's right and less about what people are thinking about me. Oh, pineapple on pizza? Absolutely not. Not for me. Okay, I will say this. I do believe in self-determination, so if you want pineapple on your pizza, I encourage you to do so. Feel free to partake, uh, but definitely not on my pizza. You know, just like a lot of our students, when I was younger, I really wanted to make a difference in the world. Um, I thought about having an exciting career, but I wanted also to have a career that counts. We all get just one life and I want my life to matter. And so public service is a great way to make a difference in the world. And one story that makes me think about where some of this came from was when uh, an early childhood memory back to first grade. So I can remember um, being a new student in first grade and one of the students in my class had just moved him and his family from Africa. And I didn't have words for things like racism and discrimination at that point in my life. But I remember watching that not just the teacher, but the other, my other peers in that classroom treated him differently because of the color of his skin and the way that he spoke. And I remember deep down in my gut, I said to myself, that's wrong, that's not okay. And so I think I'm also somebody who likes to fix things. And so whether it's sort of a bump as we're trying to get things going with the new semester, or we're talking about problems within our larger society. I'm interested in figuring out how to um, make a difference in the world when I see things that are concerning sort of back to my first grade self. So.